Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY with Felice. My last video was about how to remove your gel manicure at home. This time around, I'm going to show you how to trim, file, and groom your nails at home so that they are ready for your next manicure. It's gonna hopefully look like this. If you like this tutorial, please do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's get started. To start, here are the materials you're going to need. Acetone, a nail clipper, a cuticle nipper, cuticle remover, a cuticle pusher, a nail file, any sort of cuticle oil or moisturizing agent you're using. I'm using a Lemony Flutter by Lush and a paper towel. And the first thing I'm gonna do is use my cuticle remover. I know this has seen better days, but honestly I just use this um, and I refill with some cuticle remover I got from Sally's Beauty Supply. So the first thing I wanna do is because there's a nice little nozzle there, I'm just gonna go ahead and outline the sidewall cuticle bed and then under my nail and the reason why I do under my nail is because I want to get that gunk excess cuticle or excess skin under there out of there this is the most satisfying part but also kind of the most gross part because if you have stuff stuck under your nails that is coming out my cuticles don't actually look too bad because I use um, this lemony flutter all the time this is amazing. If I buy anything at Lush, it is always this. This lasts me almost an entire year. I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the tutorial. So I put the cuticle remover all around the nail bed and the cuticle and under my nails, I'm gonna wait maybe like 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna take my cuticle pusher. I use a metal one. I find it to be more precise and gets the gunk out. You're more than welcome to use a wooden one. I feel like that's a little more um, sensitive to your nail bed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the flat side and I'm gonna start carving the carving around and you're gonna see that's either dead skin or it's um, the cuticle remover coming off. The reason why I have the paper towel is so that I can get this gunk and I can just smeared on there. So I get around there and I don't get too far. I don't push it too much. I just go under and then I remove with the cuticle pusher. Then I take this flat side and I scrape under my nail bed. Scrape and I'm going to scrape in the other direction as well back one more time to see if you've missed anything and if you can notice there is some of that cuticle there that's been pushed out and what I'll want to do is I'll want to trim that if you don't feel comfortable trimming your cuticles honestly you don't have to because the, the cuticle remover does set a lot of the work I'm gonna take my cuticle nippers and you're gonna be cautious and not trim too much but because I use a cuticle remover it's soften up the cuticle and I can just quickly go in and nip the excess. If you're not careful with this, you could um, nick your cuticle, which would could cause an inf infection if you don't sanitize your tools. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. So I've used the cuticle pusher, pushed them all, all the cuticles, and removed the cuticles with the cuticle nipper. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to saturate a cotton ball with some acetone. I got this from Walmart. I like to use pure acetone. Um, and also this is how you can tell if you've cut too far as if your skin starts to stain, but I like to wipe it off. You can also use isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol, same thing, um, and just clean everything off. Of course, you can also wash your hands. I feel that the alcohol just cleans everything, is ready to go. So next, what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and use my nail clipper. And the reason why I'm using my nail clipper um, and not just purely my file is because as you can see there was quite a bit of nail growth um, over the course of six weeks so 
instead of filing and filing and filing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. And because I'm doing an almond shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut across to match the length that I want as if I was gonna do a square nail. Doesn't have to be perfect and I'm just gonna do that with all of my nails. In this case, it's better to go longer than shorter because you can't get that length only with time. So that matches almost my right hand and I've done it straight across and what I'm gonna do is because I don't wanna do so much filing is I'm just honestly gonna cut a little of each side. So it kind of looks like a, like one of those, like a bracket or like a, I don't know, the shape of a staple. <laughs> Then what I'm going to do is I don't want to do anything more to the top except just get it straight. And then I'm going to start from the edge of my nail and then just start curving it. I go from all the way to the edge of this side of the nail bed and then I start curving. I always like to match it side by side to the other nail and then make sure that there's no, there's no excess nail underneath. I always like going like this. So what ends up happening is when you wash your hands, you're gonna notice that there's some nail that you just did not file off. So I file the top and I make sure that the bottom is good. And now I'm gonna do the same to the rest of my four nails. So I have filed all my nails. Along the way, I was checking in comparison. Usually my left hand, my nails, and my nail bed are longer. So sometimes um, it gets as close as I can, I get as close as I can. And after filing, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm gonna take my buffer block, which I totally forgot to add to the material. So I'm gonna buff just one more time. And when I'm buffing, I'm gonna buff close to the nail, the cuticle, and I'm gonna buff the edges, just buff them downwards and the sides too. After a while of nail growth, there are times where the sides of the nail bed just need some buffing down. And this just smooths your nail plate so it is a blank canvas for your next manicure. After I do that, I'm gonna take my cotton ball that was saturated in acetone and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe my nails again. Then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. All right, so I have washed my hands and you can tell my nail nails have softened quite a bit. You can see that the surface has been buffed and it is ready for another manicure. Now, if you're not ready for another manicure, um, I like to finish off my grooming with some lemony flutter. So anytime I apply lotion or, or this cuticle butter, I always take my rings off because I don't like it when lotion or anything gets in the crevices of the ring or even like dulls, um, dulls the, the diamond. So this is what the lemony flutter looks like on the inside. Um, when it gets all translucent like this, it means it's gotten a little warm somewhere along the line. This lemonade flutter is an ounce and a half. At the bottom, it always has this cute little picture of who made it and when and when it expires. Again, a tub like this, I apply every single night on my cuticles um, and then on my hands before I go to bed or I put it on my feet and it honestly, I wake up the next day with soft hands and soft feet. This is pretty greasy, so this is not, I do not recommend this for like every, like during the day use, I only do it at night. So I just take my finger and I smear a little bit and I just place a little on each cuticle and I might as well just do it on my right hand too. 
And then I take my finger and I massage it all over the nail bed and into the cuticle. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want it to get into the cuticle, but the lemon and the lemony flutter can also whiten your nails. So that's an added bonus. Just a quick little massage on each and then I just take the excess and moisturize my hands. As you can see, there's quite a bit of sheen on my fingers. Because of it, I'm telling you it's heavy and it's greasy and it will leave grease marks. So that is how I finish off my grooming and trimming of my nails. Put my nail or my rings back on and voila. Trimmed, ready to go for the next manicure. Thank you so much for following along with me as I trimmed and groomed my nails so they're ready for the next manicure. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment down below, let me know what you'd like to see next. See you all next time.